Good afternoon, everybody. So, uh, obviously, we are not thrilled with the results today. I mean, two of our drivers quit before the end of the morning run. But on a positive note, and I'd like to keep things positive, we cut that number in half from last year. And with that, I'll take some questions. Uh, uh, Jackie? Could you sum up your first day, please? Yes, yeah, so honestly, it just felt like we got behind early. I mean, after the milk spill and the magic marker incident, it felt like we were playing catch up the rest of the day. Dave? Did you feel that you had been prepared enough for the first day? Well, Dave, I was up late last night going over my route, so in the morning I drank a lot of coffee. In retrospect, I probably should have visited the bathroom before leaving the terminal. Five minutes into my run, I knew I had made a big mistake. Was that the reason for the wet driver's seat? Next question. Any comment on the fifth grader who threw his lunch out the window? Yeah, Jackie, that was my fault there. He's a known window licker, and I felt if I lowered his window and took away the temptation, that bad habit would just go away. Can I just add, his lunch was a tuna fish on wheat, so I think his mom shares in the blame. Tammy? You seemed a bit startled by a question you received from an eighth grader. What did she ask you? Yeah, that, that did throw me off. She asked me what the bus's password was, and I wasn't sure how to answer that one. Jackie? Was it the right decision handing out potato chips to your elementary age students? Well, out of the gate, I wanted the kids to see me as the cool bus driver. And though they did remain quiet during the run, in the end, I spent over an hour cleaning up crumbs and empty baggies from the bus floor. I'm going to have to reevaluate that decision later in the year. Dave. Any comment on the number of increased bloody noses and accident reports? Oh, we got a stat guy here? Well, Dave, like I said, I want to keep things positive. So on a positive note, I did learn the fastest way to the hospital and where the emergency room entrance is. Tammy. How do you feel about the principal having your kids standing on the sidewalk waiting for you? Truthfully, I thought that was a bit passive aggressive on her part. I mean, we were only running 45 minutes late. I'll get her a Starbucks gift card and try to do better tomorrow. Were you surprised when the kids sang happy birthday to you? Yeah, I thought that was very nice until they got to the verse and said, happy birthday, dear Mr. Fat and Bald Guy. Did you get what you wanted when you blew out your candles? Do I look like a guy that got a good night's sleep? Dave. Your students didn't seem too thrilled about having all the windows down during a rainstorm. Well, you weren't there, were you, Dave? The fact is I've got five or six junior high boys who haven't showered in a month, and if they got a little wet, boo freaking who. I felt it was the right call. Can we circle back to the soaking wet driver's seat? Next question. Any comment on the flu bug that seems to be spreading throughout the bus? Yeah, we got a couple sore throats and some runny noses, and at least three students are on the barfing protocol. I'm pretty sure they're going to be questionable for tomorrow. You seem to be walking with a noticeable limp and favoring your left leg. Yeah, I stepped on a Lego while doing my child check. When I found out workman's comp wouldn't cover it, I decided to power through the rest of my day. What's your reaction to setting the all-time record for the fastest time to school in the morning? Well, it's always nice to be mentioned with some of the finest bus drivers that have ever done it. Like I said, I drank a lot of coffee this morning and... Well, I've got the bladder of a two-year-old. Does that also account for the soaking wet driver's seat? Next question. Could you comment on that early morning holding call? Yes, Haley's mom's goodbye hug did linger a bit too long. That's something we didn't anticipate, but I fully expect improvement throughout the year. I can't blame the parents for throwing a flag there. You seem to have a big mess on the windows in the third row. Any comments? Yeah, it would have been nice to know it was finger painting day in second grade. I'm just saying. What was the argument you had with dispatch about? I called a code W for weapon on the bus, and dispatch and I had a disagreement over whether slime should be considered a deadly weapon. Well, technically, slime isn't classified as a weapon, so how could you make that call? Well, Brittany's mom wanted to kill me when Heather Jones got slime all through Brittany's hair, so you tell me. 
Is it true you drank a whole bottle of Pepto-Bismol and ate a dozen Tums today? What I do to prepare myself during the day is something I'd like to keep in-house between me and my fellow drivers, and it was more like nine Tums. How did you manage to keep the kindergartner so quiet on the way home? Yeah, I simply told them if they don't stay quiet, a big scary monster would eat them. And you stand by that call? What, Dave? That a big, scary, child-eating monster is on my bus? I called an audible. Is that what you wanted to hear? I'm done. I hope you're all happy now.